So I recently read and or listened to nine Swedish books in a single month. Nine fiction books and one non-fiction. And at the end of that month, I was a wiser person. And in my newfound wisdom, I'm milking that experience for its YouTube content value. Hmm, strong the algorithm is, hmm? This is lesson three of 10 things that I learned from reading 10 books in a month. And if you want to see the articles that this series of videos is based on, as well as other articles, interviews with successful language learners, answers to your questions, bonus videos, all that kind of good stuff, then consider checking out my Patreon. Thank you. In this video, I'm talking about the worst thing that can possibly happen by just reading a lot in your target language. Spoilers, it's not that bad. I have a friend who's very, very cool. She's got cool tattoos, she has an amazing singing voice, she runs a successful small business, and she's lovely to talk to. And I want you to bear in mind that I've said all that if I should now happen to start sounding condescending. Because every now and then, I or one of her other friends will say something and she'll just go, what? With a look on her face that says, you just used a word that is not part of the English language. Here's the thing, she freely admits to not reading books, ever. Not now, not once. She's never read a book. She is not a reading books person. Now I want to make it abundantly clear that I'm not the sort of person who says, why, well, if you don't read, then you're no better than a fox. No, the fact that you can or even do read in your native language does not make you smart and it doesn't prove that you're smart. But I do find it an interesting case study with this friend of mine who is certainly not dumb and not boring to talk to, but every now and then someone who's her age, who grew up in her city at the same time, uses a word and she just goes, Never heard that. That's what can happen in your native language when you don't read. Imagine the catching up to do you have in a target language. So the worst thing that could happen by just reading a lot in your target language is that that wouldn't help you improve fluency. Although I do happen to think that it does slowly but surely build your underlying, that is your subconscious competence in the language, which is then the fuel to fluency. But even if it were a proven fact that reading in a second language didn't help you improve fluency, then it would at the very least improve your ability to remain uninterrupted in a conversation with native speakers and to feel like you belong as part of that conversation. Because if you don't read and read a lot, then it's only a matter of time before a native speaker will use a word in a whole sentence and you'll say, I understood everything you said except for that one bit that was important. So make sure you stay tuned for the next lesson. lesson which is answering the question, is there such a thing as too much exposure to your target language? I'll see you then. Bye.